Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be making homemade Greek gyro and homemade tzatziki sauce. Let's get going. This video is in response to a request I received and I am going to be making my personal favorite type of gyros, which is a blend of lamb and beef. Let's kick it off with some 80-20 ground chuck. One pound of ground lamb. This is a small onion that I grated and then I put it on a brand new uh, tea towel, folded over and I pressed out as much of the liquid out of this as I could. I have here one teaspoon dry oregano, one teaspoon dry rosemary, one teaspoon fresh ground black pepper, one teaspoon dried thyme, one teaspoon dried marjoram, one teaspoon cumin, and this is a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Add that to the mix. One tablespoon minced garlic. Now we're gonna get in there with our hands. So I wanna get this as mixed up as I can. And then what I'm going to do is cover it and place it in the refrigerator for a couple hours to let all those flavors kind of come together. And then we're going to actually toss this in the food processor. So that's looking good. So again, I'm going to place this in the fridge covered. And in the meantime, we're going to make that homemade tzatziki sauce. So before I proceed, I wanted to give credit. So the gyros recipe I found on, on the website, All Recipes, I did make a minor tweak to the recipe and I am going to be using a, a much different cooking technique than they used. And the tzatziki sauce comes from a recipe website called Love and Lemons. It's a really easy recipe. I have here one cup of whole milk Greek yogurt. This is one half cup of finely grated cucumber. And I did the same thing with this that I did with a lemon. I grated it. There's a lot of water in this. Put it in a towel and it kind of gently pressed out the liquid, as much liquid as I could. One tablespoon fresh lemon juice. One clove grated garlic. One tablespoon fresh dill chopped. About a quarter teaspoon salt, the sea salt, and about a half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Get this mixed up. And there we are. Let's give this a little taste. Wow. So fresh. It's good. Anyway, we're still waiting on that meat. I, I, Again, I wanted to wait two hours before we toss it in the food processor, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, that two hours have passed, and now we're going to again toss this into the old food processor and give it a mix. <laughs> All right, that looks good. Well, it doesn't look good, but it looks how I want it to look. Get this back in the bowl. So I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let it recover from this trauma that I subjected it to, and then I'll meet you guys at the griddle. So I'm using my wildfire griddle today, and just as if I were cooking smash burgers, I have this zone on medium high, this side on low. This is again my warming station. I don't have one of those cool vertical spits with a big old blob of meat on there that I can shave the gyro off as I'm going. So I figured the best way to kind of replicate the results, which is that nice kind of toasted, that Maillard reaction on the outside and a nice thin slice of meat is to do it on the griddle as a smash burger. I formed three meatballs out of that gyro meat and each one of these are about three and a half ounces. I want to try to get it as thin as you'd see one of those slices of the gyro meat at one of the Greek restaurants. Wow, smells amazing. 
I have here some pita bread. I'm not real impressed with this pita bread, to be honest with you, but we'll see how it works out. All right. All right. Good. All right, let's build a gyro sandwich. The first thing I'm going to do, just sort of slice this. So note to self, don't buy pita bread at Albertsons anymore. I have a great Greek restaurant I could have bought it from and in some Mediterranean markets. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't have a whole lot of faith in this, but we'll see what happens. So lay down some really thinly sliced red onion. When I go to the restaurant, I usually order this light on the onion because they go berserk on it. And it's also a lot thicker than these onions. Lay down that meat. And some tomato. Well, tzatziki. And here we are, a homemade gyro sandwich with homemade tzatziki sauce on it. And this is one of my all time favorite things to have for especially lunches. And we'll see if I can fold this. Yeah. All right, maybe I was a little too hard on Albertsons. <laughs> Seems like it's working out pretty good. Check that out. Let's give this a try. Mmm, this is good. I mean, it tastes just like at the restaurant. Tzatziki was uber simple, really good. One of the suggestions was to add a tablespoon of chopped mint along with the dill, but I, I didn't want, want the mint in there. In moderation, I, I think this really definitely needs those, the red onion in there. Again, for me, I don't want it just completely piled on there with big chunky bits, like paper thin slices. It adds a nice spice and a nice crunch that it needs. The tomato is the counter to that. I mean, it's nice and cool and kind of refreshing. The tzatziki is really refreshing. This pita bread is actually a lot better than I was expecting, but it's definitely not as good as the stuff at the Greek restaurant. You know, it's. Uh, kind of looking like it wants to break here, which is a bummer. Mm. So all in all, very happy with this recipe. The tzatziki was really, really good. I mean, just so fresh. And the gyro tasted like the stuff you get off a restaurant, you know, with the exception it's not being sliced off. Um, I think cooking it like a smash burger is, is a good way to do it. Um, it was easy. The way the recipe suggests is to bake this in the oven in a, in a loaf pan and then slice it off. I think this is better. I'd be interested to see, uh, put these in like a sausage casing, the meat in a, in a sausage casing. I wonder if that would be any good. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Keep those suggestions coming in. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subbing, ringing the notification bell, thumb it up if you like it. I hope you did. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.